It's definitely a purity to karting, you know, it's just so simple. I started karts when I was eight years old, sort of went through the British ranks um, until I was 12, and then started racing in Europe at the highest level out there. Actually racing against probably six of the guys I'm racing against now in F1. The kart just felt really good on the engine, so I think I was quite quick as well. You just go up there, just have fun. It's so easy to race one another because you don't have the, any downforce on the kart, so it really is the description of pure racing. I'd like to get to Formula One, like most people would. I never really doubted myself. I was 100% dedicated and I always believed in myself, but there were certainly times there's nothing on the radar. I had no links with F1 teams. So I just thought, you know what, I'm, I'm doing my best. I feel like I'm capable, but I don't think the opportunity will come. And then suddenly, almost out of the blue, I got a phone call from Mercedes and everything changed from there. What matters is George Russell's taken a GP plate. He came to meet me at a race in mm. summer of 2018, armed with a notebook. No driver does that, and it really sets him apart because he took it seriously. I think the moment I really told myself that I wanted to become an F1 driver was in 2009. And I remember seeing the cars on track standing at Cops Corner at the start, and it just being incredibly loud and just looking so quick. That was the moment when I wanted to become an F1 driver. Silverstone is one of my personal favourite races on the calendar for so many reasons. There's just something different about Silverstone to all of the other races. It's just a different atmosphere. Being Frank's 50th anniversary also just added to the occasion for a great weekend. It's a real test of man and machine and the fans are probably the best fans that we have. Formula One being British, Williams being British, you know, all together it you know, makes for a very nice story and it's a really great feeling for me being this sort of young Brit coming into Formula One. You know, Williams as a team has had many historic moments achieved on that race circuit and will always be, I think, a firm favourite amongst everybody that works at Williams. For us at the moment, in a huge restructuring process, it's almost like you have to take two steps back to make three steps forward and there really is a light at the end of a tunnel. So. You know, we do just have to be patient at the moment and the success will come later down the line.